In this exercise we will demonstrate reliability analysis and optimal power restoration. Activate the reliability assessment study case. Reliability data has already been assigned to the lines in this network. Zoom in on the portion of the network as shown. We would examine this line. Line number 1834. On the reliability page, you can see, the reliability data has already been entered. First we will calculate an optimal power restoration. Right click on the line and select calculate optimal power restoration. Use the data specified and select execute. This will create a report in the output window. Here you can see the calculated steps to achieve optimal power restoration. Returning to the single line diagram will change the toolbox to optimal power restoration. You can see a step-by-step -step trace of the events associated with the optimal power restoration. Select the option Start Trace. Choose the contingency N-1. Select OK. First the load flow is calculated. Move to the next step of the trace. A fault is applied to the line and it can be seen that the circuit breaker at the substation opens. In the output window you can also follow the steps. Move to the next step of the trace. You can see that switches of both ends of the faulted line have opened. You can also see that the circuit breaker at this substation has closed. Moving on to the final step. You can see that the faulty line is de-energized and the optimum number of customers have had their power restored by the closure of the adjacent feeder's open point. Stop the trace. Now we will carry out the reliability calculation to the entire network. First we will specify a planned maintenance on one of the lines. We will choose this line. Line 1224. Right-click on the line and select Define, Planned Outage. Select the start time, the 1st of January 2013. And a restoration time of 1st of June 2013. Choose the Reliability Analysis Toolbox. Open the Reliability Analysis Tool. Choose Complete Year and ensure the year in question is 2013. Ensure Network is set to Distribution. Whole System is selected. And choose Bus Bars, Lines, and Transformers. On the costs page check the box for costs for energy not supplied, and choose the provided energy tariff. On costs for loads choose, global and select the provided time tariff. On the maintenance page ensure the consider maintenance option is selected. Execute the reliability assessment. This may take some time. Once the reliability assessment is complete, maximize the output window, and observe the results. Here you can see the system indices, resulting from the reliability assessment. Returning to the single line diagram, and looking at detailed single line diagram of distribution substation, 
You can see for each of the MV loads, the load point indices are available. Returning to the overview diagram. We will color the diagram according to our results. Ensure that energizing status is selected. And results, load point energy not supplied is selected. We will now calculate the contribution of one grid to the reliability indices by using the command contributions to reliability indices, which is accessible via the reliability analysis toolbox. Select user defined selection and choose one grid. Ensure that Create Report for Component Classes is selected and click on Execute. The results are shown in the output window.